Hello, and everyone, and thank you for joining us for Buds and Suds. It's uh, episode four. I believe it's April 11th, 2016. Uh, thanks for joining us. We are going to be trying out three beers today and letting you know what we think. Uh, I've got my co host here, uh, Peter, Hi. Kevin, and Nick. How are all you guys doing? Doing well. How about yourself, Grant? There's pretty good. I'm thirsty. Pretty good. Yeah, I'm, get, I'm thirsty too. Looks like Nick already got started. I <laughs> uh, just want to remind you that uh, we are all over the interwebs on our social media. Um, you can check us out on Instagram, uh, Twitter, Periscope. What else, Nick? We're on Vine now, apparently. Nice. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we made it, guys. <coughs> yeah, that was a thing. You can also follow us on. Uh, Untapped, and I believe they're all uh, underscore buds and suds. And then you can also reach out to us at buds and suds 2016 at gmail.com. Anything else, guys? Bing. Boom. That's the important stuff. Bing. Subscribe to our channel. Subscribe. Please. Push the button. Subscribe. Let us know what you think, what you like, what you don't like. Unfortunately, this week, uh, none of our Awesome fans reach out to us about questions, but we do have one from another friend about how asking how beer is made. Um, would anyone like to get started on that? I vote Kevin. Kevin seems to know a lot about that stuff. <laughs> I can give you a quick rundown of it. Sure. Um, basically, there's some simple okay. steps. We'll dumb it down. So you have your your barley, your, your malted grains. Um, you take those, you grind them up, and you uh, make kind of a giant tea bag out of it. Get all the sugars out of it. Um, How do you do that? Uh, well, uh, that that depends on the person. I do it in a big, mind. big uh, <laughs> keg. But uh, and then you take that that sugary water that comes out of it, and uh, you can add hops to it, other flavors, fruits, whatever you want to do there. Then you transfer it into a bucket or uh, a big vat, depending on how big you're brewing. And you throw some yeast in there and make sure it's got plenty of oxygen and plenty of nutrients. And that yeast will take that sugar and then convert it into alcohol. Cool brews. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, awesome. Uh, another question we got that I forgot to ask. Uh, what was the last beer you guys drank? <laughs> Uh, Peter, how about you? <laughs> uh, last, <laughs> beer, <laughs> last beer I drank was uh, Hop Slice by Deschutes Brewery. Uh, another one of their newer concoctions uh, has some lemon in it. A uh, nice light, light session IPA. Uh, really, really refreshing for a nice summer day like we've been having here. Yeah. Nice. I, Kevin? I had a, a Sapporo uh, the other night. Yeah. Just kind of a rice lager. It was, uh, it's a good lager. I think uh, it goes well with uh, the Japanese sushi food that I was eating. Nice. Nick, what about you? Um, I think I had a Miller High Life. <laughs> nice. Can all you right. describe that? On accident? Um, well, that's, that's all they had on the boat when we went sailing on Saturday. Oh, when you're uh, yachting? Miller Light and Miller uh, Gold. I don't know, gold and White. I don't know, one's light and one's not. Did you wear Wayfarers and pink uh, sailing shorts and white shoes? And a Sperry's. No. Actually, There's I didn't no wear Sperry's, but they were racing <laughs> shoes. Oh. Cool. Yeah, legit. <laughs> nice. Well, my last beer I had was uh, the Elysian Hawaiian Sunburn. It's a habanero, habanero pineapple sour. Uh, looked weird, so I decided to try it. It was all right. It was a uh, kind of mild on all the flavors. I thought it was going to be a little more intense, a little spicier, a little more sour, but it was just kind of mellow. It was actually pretty easy to drink. I liked it, but it's just one of those beers you'd want. Maybe one or two of. All right. So tonight we're going to be talking about um, three pretty great beers. We have the Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, um, brewed by Sierra Nevada Brewing Company in Chico, California. 
uh, follow that up with the Full Sail IPA, uh, now known as the Classic IPA from Full Sail. Uh, they're brewed in Hood River, Oregon. Oop, oop. And then finally, we're going to follow that up with the Inversion IPA uh, by Deschutes Brewing from Bend, Oregon. So let's go ahead and we'll start with the Pale Ale by Sierra Nevada, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So first up, we're going to tackle the Sierra Nevada Brewing Company's Pale Ale. Um, like I said earlier, from Chico, California, uh, it comes in at 5.6% alcohol by volume, 38 IBU, an original gravity of 1.054, um, brewed with... Uh, Two row and caramel malts um, use, and they use Magnum Pearl and Cascade Hops. What do you guys think? Who wants to take a tackle this one first? Peter. Is that Peter? Or? Well, well, <laughs> starting off, you get a nice head, a uh, nice golden amber color. Um, the first taste. It, I'm coming from a can, so mine might be different. Um, the first taste is pretty refreshing, not too much up front. Uh, back end of it, it's got a little bit of malty aftertaste. <laughs> but no, it's a it's a good beer. I mean, it, it's nothing to, to to set itself apart, but it's it's refreshing and it has a good enough flavor that makes you want to go back for a little bit more. Um, I, I I enjoy it. Yeah, uh, I agree. It's not too crazy or intense or anything. There's a little bit of a bite at the beginning. It's part of the carbonation and a tiny bit of the hops, but then it definitely mellows out with those car um, caramel malt or caramel, as some might say. Um, it's definitely an easy drink. Um, cleanses the palate, or not cleanses, <laughs> wets the palate nicely. <laughs> Anything else for being a uh, for being thirty five years old is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. They've had some time to perfect it. I like the aroma on it. It's kind of got a bit of an alcohol aroma to it, and it, it's hoppy, but it balances well. And then you take your drink <laughs> like that, and it's fruity. It's citrusy. It's kind of it, it's a very mild. It's exactly what you want in a pail as far as it, it's a mild drink that's uh, quite refreshing. Anybody yeah. else have anything? The, um, the uh, 35 years that this beer has been around, they have never changed the recipe. Never, ever? ever. So I guess they haven't perfected it, Kevin. <laughs> I guess not. Uh, I guess they just stuck. They were perfect right off the bat. I, I'll not say five point six percent. Yeah, I find it pretty carbonated. I'm uh, burping quite a bit while I drink this. I agree with that. You, you know burped. what I think is interesting? I did. Um, is that what you find it, interesting? No, it's it's not actually. Yeah. I think it's interesting that I get quite a bit of alcohol flavor from it. Um, but at 5.6%, I don't really expect it. And it balances well with the malt, so it's, it's actually pretty tasty. I've never noticed that until you just said that, but that's I'm kind of getting that too now. Now that you yeah. say it, there is definitely a uh, alcohol flavor to it. Kind of a bit of a – I don't even want to call it dry. It's just kind of alcoholy. Let's go to Grant yes. um, and see where you would drink this at. So this was one of my, um, I would say, middle. Well, we talked about some other beers in the other episodes, like the Rogue Dead Guy. That was like one of my first um, micro brews that I've had. This I would call this like my second generation of micro brews that I got into. A friend showed it to me. Um, it was during or right after we went disc golfing and showed it to me, and I loved it. Um, so that's kind of it. Always reminds me of disc golfing. So that's where I drink it. Play a nice round, nine or eighteen. Uh, outside, probably about a nice mild sixty-three degrees. Partly cloudy. Very, very low breeze, just enough to cool you down, but uh, not enough to mm -hmm. 
Send the disc in the wrong direction. Nice. I like that. Peter, what would you give this name? You know, this one's hard. Um, it's It doesn't really have a name. It, its name is what it is, uh, just pale ale. Um, so if I were to go with it, being it's their 35-year-old, I mean, standard go-to, they haven't changed the uh, ingredients or the uh, recipe in 35 years, I would go with like uh, something that has to do with the Sierra Nevadas, maybe Mount Whitney Ale, um, something that just speaks to the uh, the longevity and the tradition that this beer is. How can you single out just one mountain, though? Because it's the only one he knows. <laughs> uh, I mean, you could you could go with a bunch of them. I mean, the Sierra Nevadas are just so big, but it's it's just named after what the beer is. It's a pale ale. I mean, that's the name of it. So I don't know. I don't know if you can just sing, single out one and maybe you just call it the Sierra Nevada. But that kind of gets confusing when you have other beers in your beer line. Okay, we'll call it. We'll, I'll let you have Mount Whitney. Okay, Mount Whitney Pale Ale. Yes, that's, that's a mouthful. Well, Mount Mount Whitney we will will. <laughs> Nick, let's see that spirit animal. Are you with us, Nick? Can you see me? Uh, yeah. What's wrong? <laughs> huh? <laughs> okay, so first of all, I want to give you a little background on my decision making. Um, I needed to give this beer some something powerful. Uh, I've actually been to this brewery before. Um, in one of the, I'd say, top five craziest weekends of my life. And, uh, that's saying something. Yeah. Wow, that's impressive. Yes. And, uh, yeah. I'm intrigued. Chico, California is like a different world. I don't know. There's just some, something about that place is crazy. No, Nick, I, I think most of it is just you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to agree with Grant. <laughs> Maybe. Um... <laughs> So when this beer first came out in the 1980s, there was actually only about 100 breweries in the U.S. Uh, now, obviously, there's like thousands. Um, but it definitely had an impact on the craft brew, craft brewery world. Um, so I wanted to, I wanted something that was like powerful, uh, influential, um, I kind of had like a cascade effect on the brewery world, but I am a terrible drawer of waterfalls. So that's all you get. Hey, don't go chasing waterfalls, Nick. It's a waterfall. <laughs> and also the illustrator that made the Sierra Nevada like logo shit is tough. That's tough. <laughs> Good drawing, Nick. I like it. Yeah, it's right. It didn't give the beer justice. But... No, it didn't, but you tried. Next up, the Full Sail Classic IPA by Full Sail Brewing Company in Hood River, Oregon. Um, 6% ABV, uh, 60 IBU, so quite a step up. Um, made with pale and crystal malts and hopped with centennial hops whoa uh, and that's it so um should be a, a good little refreshment here i'll start it off Please no do. Hint. whoa i don't know what i did i'm like the I'm bizarro nick that's what i am i'm like the opposite um much lighter color than the uh sierra nevada more of a honey or highly dehydrated urine color. Um, my head dissipated. What little there was dissipated very quickly. I can't believe how crystal clear this one is. I thought the last one was really clear, but this <laughs> one is like, yeah. <laughs> I got it. Um, who, who gave Grant his one prop? I got three. I think it's somebody that's watching. Did, did you guys see Nick's? Uh, <laughs> six, 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 six. Six, six, six. All right. 
Oh, um, same boat as you. Oregon is home to the best beer, in my opinion. Ooh. Nick, do you have a rebuttal? Huh? To the bottom right question, the question at the bottom right of your screen. Hmm. Um, yeah, sure. All right, hey guys, I'm not done. Yeah, let Nick do like a grand finish. Um, definitely getting more hops. Um, and it's still, it almost seems a little more boozy than the uh, Sierra Nevada. Um, I thought that I'm not getting a strong aroma off of it. No, yeah, you, get, you get the hops aroma, but I thought the uh, hops flavor would really come forward more. So does anybody else get this hit by a bunch of malt? I do, and it's it's almost just like the hops were used for bittering and really no flavor. Yeah, like there's no crispness that you get from a fresh hop. Well, I think it's, it's crisp in the sense that it's still kind of a lighter body, but it's not crisp because you're not getting the fresh hop flavor. True. I do, I do like the carbonation. It's very mm -hmm. crisp and uh, kind of cuts through. Yeah, and I think with that, the head actually is kind of nice. It replenishes itself almost every time you take a drink. You must be getting better head than me. Mine's non-existent. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny, Nick? Yeah, can you explain why you're laughing, Nick? <laughs> Why is your mug so ginormous? <laughs> Holy smokes, man. Large mug. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm else, still guys? blown away at how crystal clear this beer is. Yeah, it, it really is. I mean, it is probably as close to like a commercial grade lager clear. Mm hmm. With a nice definitely kind of uh, golden copper color. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I um was trying to get a so, variety when I was picking these beers. And uh, hey, Peter, have you ever lived in Chico? No, because I thought maybe I was just picking everywhere you lived. So. <laughs> but uh, I've, no, I've, you, I remember, you missed me on Chico. I remember going to this brewery, and uh, if I remember correctly, it's got a great view of the gorge. I might be getting it. No, the Full Sail is an awesome brewery and pub. I mean, it's it's right downtown on the overlooks the river. Um, has a nice little back patio area where you can go. Yeah, yeah, in the yeah. Middle of winter because it's covered. That's where we. But sat. Uh, I remember that now. Just don't steal their glasses. You're not allowed to take their <laughs> pint glasses. Oh, really? That's yeah. good to know. Yeah. I think I don't remember it well because we had gone to we went to Frame, and then we went. Is that how you say it? Prem. 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 Sure. Is it Big Horse? Is that a brewery? Mm -hmm. Sure. Is that Big the Horse one up is in up the on the hill. Up in the hill uh, off Cascade. And then what's the other brewery? There's, is there? Please say, Cascade. say Double Mountain. Well, it's Double, Double Mountain. Double Mountain. Oh, pizza. Bad. Yeah, we went there last. Mm -hmm. Okay, we mm -hmm. went here. Yeah, now they have good pizza. Anyways, oh. Back to Full Sail. Uh, super cool Double. brewery. Um, uh, Peter, do you have any comments on, uh, you know, being a Hood River native? If you have any uh, anything else to say about Full Sail before we pass the horn around here? You, you know, I, I, I'm with you, Kevin. It's kind of one of those ones where they've gotten so big that they just, I mean, I, I guess you could say about most breweries nowadays, but um, they don't try new things. They, they stick with what they know, and I mean, it goes back to the Sierra Nevada, you have a recipe that sticks around for a while and it doesn't change. So I, it's a good IPA. It used to be one of my favorites, but after experimenting with beer for a while, it's it's definitely, uh, you, it's nothing special. Yeah, no, um, I, I, I guess yeah. from, from my personal opinion, it's still good beer. I, I still get it. When I'm, I was actually stoked to go get a six pack of it because I haven't had one in a while. But um, I mean, it, after today, I definitely taste the malts a lot more than normal, which which is weird, and it definitely coats your mouth a little bit more than most other beers. So, what um, what That's other name would you give this beer? 
you know, I thought it was funny that we were picking all these beers that don't have beer names. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I think either the crane's just not creative or... Uh... Hey, I'm trying to work <laughs> with you guys to get beers that all of us can get it right. So, honestly, I'm going to go with it's something that's heavy. It's something that just kind of is always going to be there. And it's something that's really the, the, the backbone of a community and of a, of a culture. I'm going to go with the train trestle. What's there. a train trestle? It's always going to be there. <laughs> what? Peter, you're cutting out. I cut out. Damn it. Can you tell us what a train trestle is? I honestly don't know what it is. You know what a train trestle is? You know a bridge that goes over the water and it has all the archways that yeah. or all the steel beams that go up and yeah. hold up the bridge? The trestles? That's a train trestle. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, so it's no different than like a regular trestle just for trains? I guess not. I, I didn't know they made them for not trains, but... I was going to go for Eddie, <laughs> full-sale Eddie uh, IPA, but you know, sailing Eddie's in the water, but whatever that's not your job grant your job is to tell us where you would drink this so where would you Ooh, drink it <laughs> i am not proud about this <laughs> at all uh let's see don't ruin my great transition <laughs> i think i might have just done that. <laughs> all right I'll, I'll let you think about it um i'm actually i'm gonna pair this with um uh, with a some type of sushi roll, actually. Let's go spicy tuna or spicy crab. I think you got to have something a little spicy, but you want uh, a rich flavor coming from the meat of the uh, the roll that you're eating. So let's go with um, spicy tuna or crab roll. I like it. I like it. Um, so as far as IPAs go, that's what did you say? It was like a 64? 60, 60, I believe. Yeah, so it's it, it's definitely getting up there, but it's not too intense. It's still fairly, for me at least, it's fairly easy to drink. So this is something I could see myself sipping on while watching, say, a football game, college football game, preferably Saturday morning, uh, Saturday afternoon. Uh, so that's what I'm kind of getting when I'm drinking this beer. Okay, that sounds good. Nick, what do we got for Spirit Animal? All right, so... Uh... I wanted to stick to um, Full Sail's kind of backbone. Uh, it created the the name off of, uh, obviously, the Gorge is popular for its high winds, um, kite surfing, a little bit of sailing. But uh, I went with Windsurf. also their logo, way easier <laughs> than <laughs> Ah, selfish. Is this selfish? There's no selfish in the Columbia. <laughs> Fish. Yeah, but it's off of the idea of Folsom. That's a good drawing, though. Oh, that's awesome. That is beautiful. So if you want to see better pictures of my spirit animals, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram, underscore Buds and Sets. Echo, echo, echo. <laughs> da -da -da, da -da -da. <laughs> Peter! <laughs> awesome. I like it, Nick. Make totally makes sense. All right. Should we move on to our last beer? Good sign, like okay. It. So uh, <laughs> next up, we're going to go with the Inversion IPA uh, from Deschutes Brewing Company uh, in Bend, Oregon. Uh, they uh, they run a 6.8% ABV, uh, an IBU of 80. So we're going up 20 from the last one here. Um they use pale Munich and caramel malts, uh, follow it with hops of Millennium, Bravo, Centennial, Northern Brewer, Cascade, and Delta. So they're really uh, switching the profiles up on us here. So, um, Nick, I think you had some thoughts on it right off the bat. Do you have anything you want to try to say again? No, I don't remember what I said. Uh it's an amber color. Maybe. That's yeah. I'd say. No, I'll give you that. An amber red. Whoa. Light amber red. I got a good head. It dissipated fairly quickly. Um, Mine's really a, cloudy. Yours? Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, I, I think compared to the last one, it's cloudy, but it's not. I can still see my hand. See? I can't. Uh, see I can't. 
Let's see yours. Oh wow. Yeah, Peter, you got is this you got straight from the vat. There's a little yeah. um, sediment at the bottom, so I wonder if they uh mine did come from the brewery. Yeah, I wonder if you kinda got the uh, the bottom well, there. Uh Peter, I think they all <laughs> well, it, oh, it, it was literally at the brewery like a week ago. Sorry. Why are you apologizing to me? You just said a statement that didn't make any sense. Peter, what do you think about these? Uh... Oh, who gave me props? <laughs> no one can see those grants. <laughs> Peter. Um, get, on get on my level, bro. <laughs> you know, it's... It's kind of weird. You do Keep smell the, the, the <laughs> you, do, you do smell the really malty. Uh, <laughs> how drunk is Nick right now? <laughs> I, had, I had a few beers before we started. So. <laughs> Anyways, um, you do you do smell a really heavy malty f smell when you take the first whiff, and then when you taste it, you actually taste a lot more hops than. On the other ones, it, it's it's really aromatic. You know what it and, is, Peter? Uh, I just figured out it's inverted inversion. It is though. It really no. I'm not. I'm being honest with you. Wow, oh, that's deep, Grant. I think you might be onto something there. It's kind of malty at first, and then it got. It mm -hmm. has the. Uh, it got after. It balances out with the malt at the end. There's there's. It's all malt up front with the aroma. But then it's almost all hops when you when you take a drink of it. Yeah, that is true. It's the malt up front, and then it just the it rest does, it is. is hop. Guys, we did it. We we did it. We figured it out. We cracked the code. Right, Nick. <laughs> I think that's what I said uh, the first time. <laughs> Are you to the point where you have to have one eye closed to <laughs> do anything? <laughs> Bird. <laughs> I think it's it's very it's a it's a very floral hop too. I think um, mm -hmm. I mean typically with I think Cascade you have a very floral and Centennial might even give you kind of a mild floral. Um, I'm trying to think. <laughs> here. I'm trying to think. <laughs> Why are you so squinty? <laughs> um, I think the floral really comes out of the end as far as um, with the hop. It kind of bitters nicely into a, a floral, piney, almost like you're eating a flower, to be honest. You're, you're definitely getting a lot of floral. Yeah. Fruity. Are you saying in the taste or in the aroma? I'm saying in the taste. I think... I think imagine going up to like an orange tree and eating the flower before it turns into an orange. That's what I feel like you're eating here. And Damn. by eating, you're drinking. That's deep. So, Grant, where would you drink this beer at? We're not to there yet, Nick. I'm okay with going there. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> I, I really enjoy this beer. Um, I like drinking it when it's hot out. Everywhere where I seem to want to drink beer it seems to be outside somewhere. Um, who's oh who just gave me? <laughs> I'm gonna say by a pool. This is where I have. I remember <laughs> drinking this by a pool, and every time I drink it, it reminds me of just summertime, sitting by a pool, hanging out with friends and family, enjoying the beautiful weather. Were you it's perhaps sitting cool. by the dock of the bay? <laughs> No, Peter, not for this one. That's not how we drink red stripe because of oh, redding stripe. <laughs> Peter, what would you name this beer? Uh, or red I'm, I'm going to go with the uh, inversion theme, but I'm going to go with rope a dope. How? What? What? <laughs> What's rope a dope? A rope, a rope a dope. You know what a rope a dope is, right? No. I didn't know what no. a train trussle was. I know more about <laughs> train trussles than rope a dopes. <laughs> All right, so a rope a dope is in boxing where you fake with the left and you go with the right. Oh. So they think that you're going to go one way, but then you're actually going the other. 
<laughs> you made that up. Catch it on. You made that up. No. It's in a movie. I don't remember what movie it's in, but it's in a movie. You can say oh, it's Rock. in No, Broken Arrow. Million? Broken Arrow. Million 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 million. John Travolta and uh, something Keaton. Really? I don't care about your stupid ass right. I just looked it up. Rope a dope is a thing. They were just fighting. They were fighting each other. It's really and, cool. But, but this is the best part about Rope a dope. He's totally wrong at what it is. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> It's a boxing tactic of pretending to be trapped against the ropes, goading an oh. opponent to throw tri- tiring, ineffective punches. <laughs> so it's still faking them out, though, like Inversion is. Yeah, you're still yeah. faking them out. Like, oh, this is super molting. No, it's hot. I, I'm basing all my knowledge off of the movie Broken Arrow with John Travolta. <laughs> that's weird. And apparently I'm wrong. Nick gets most of his info <laughs> from Brokeback Mountain, so that's okay. <laughs> I've never seen it. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Game boys are talking. Um, cool brews. Okay, if I'm going to pair this with something, I'm going to go something classic. I think um, I'm going to go a uh, fettuccine alfredo. Ooh. Yeah, that sounds good. Right? Chicken. Yeah, you can throw some chicken in there. Oh yes, I want some now. <laughs> chicken. Oh really? Just gotta get some fettuccine and Alfredo. That sounds bomb right now. <laughs> so good. Nick, my tummy's a little full. Nick, let's see your your animal. Weird animal. Okay, so I went with I did the inverted. Um, I so somebody bite. just flipped the label over. A little fruity bite to it. Upside down tomato plant. Uh, fruit bat. Oh, good one. Fruit bat. That is that is clever. That's, That's probably one of your best ones. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> I was really happy that about that one. That was a good one. one. I think between that one and the whale shark, yeah, we got a, we got a tie for first place. <laughs> that was a really good one. Bat. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. <laughs> Well, keep talking about it. Oh, well, I just, I went with the, uh, I wanted to stay with like the inverted, obviously bats hang upside down. Um, and then it, the beer has a, a fruity taste to it. Uh, with the bite from the IBUs, um, the higher IBUs. So I, I assume maybe if a fruit bat was like, struggling for food they would bite people i don't, <laughs> I don't know some bite people. i signed out man um that's all yeah it's got a bite and it's it eats fruit and it's inverted so awesome inverted awesome let's um are you guys ready to do some ratings Oh, no. I have not thought about this. Okay, well, uh, you should think about it because all we're right. going to do it. Cool. So, um, Peter, so after drinking all these three beers, talking about it, discussing, tasting, smelling, what are your thoughts? What are your uh, What's your ranking for the Sierra Nevada Pale Ale? Uh, Sierra Nevada, I'm going to give it a... I'll give it a 3.75. Heights. Solid. Yeah. Anything right. you like disliked about it? Um, it didn't. I mean, obviously, it's not really supposed to. It's it's more of an ale, so it it just doesn't stand out in the flavor category. It doesn't progress like with the inversion. You get you get the oh, I think it's gonna be multi, then it's hoppy, then it's multi, then it's hoppy. So you just don't get that complexity that just didn't stand out for me. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Um, the pale ale is kind of a, a good solid pale ale. If you wanna, if you wanna jump into the pale ale idea, that's the one to go to first. Um, so I gave it a four. It's a, it's a classic for me. It's a classic, uh, classic go-to. So, uh, 
Nick, what did you think about it? I give it a seven and a half. Try that again. Five is the <laughs> highest. Seven and five. Uh, uh, so seven and a half, that would be about... Divide that by uh, 3.75. Four. A four? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll give it four. It's not like the best tasting pale ale I've had, but... Um, just the, the history of it and the impact it had on craft breweries. I have to I have to rate it higher just because of the respect. It's like Kobe it's like Kobe this year. Like he's terrible. But he's one of the Wait. greatest of all time. So you think this beer is terrible? No, not terrible. <laughs> I'm just saying it's not the best pale ale. Like Kobe's not the best near the best player in the NBA right now, but He's been there since the beginning. He's been around for a while, and he's... He's, he's been there since 1980. <laughs> Got to show respect. <laughs> Probably um, before that. Grant, what do you think? How long is it? Um, I love the spirits. Good, easy drink. Um, I'll always go for it if I see it. Um, I'll go give it a four. It's not too complex. It's not crazy or anything, but it's an easy drink. It's a, I think it tastes good. It's not trying to do too much, and it's just it's a good one. I, that's why I picked it for this episode. Cool. Um, before the episode or episode? Episode. Before, I said episode. Before, We're recording, Peter. Before we move on to the next one, uh, I should probably let everybody know that that is the highest rating that Nick has ever given a non-San Diego beer. Oh. So, uh, but it was still from Chico, California. It's still from California. <laughs> still California. Um, the craziest, top five craziest weekends ever. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, no, definitely. Too and do we? Do we? But I won't get it. Do we have an exact date when, uh, or not exact date, but exact year that uh, this started? The pale ale started. Yeah, uh, November nineteen eighty. Nineteen eighty. So just after Peter was born. <laughs> Never at all. They actually, the first beer they actually brewed was I'm like, out. really, Kevin. What do you think about the pale ale? I can't remember the name of it, but our second beer was the pale. What was that, Graham? What do you think about the full sale classic? Um, you know what I. I've I've had it before. I've probably had it more times than I can remember, but um, I wasn't impressed. Um, I I I gave it three point two five. I thought it was lacking flavor and kind of that standout ability. I think it, um, it it's an IPA. And that that's all I got from it. Okay, Nick. Uh, three and a half. <laughs> All right. This kind of, I don't know. That's it. Grant? Uh, I'm going with three and a half as well. It's, uh, I think it tastes good, but it's still not too special. It's a little more, now that uh, Kevin had brought it out, it's a little more boozy than I typically like in a beer as well. Um, but it's it's a good beer, and I mean we're going out of five, so three is average. So anything above that is above average, and I think it's still good beer, solid beer. It's just you know nothing extremely special. Peter, uh, I'm gonna have to say a three. Uh, after tasting it after this Sierra Nevada, and then before the inversion, I mean it's it's really multi. It's it. it wasn't as complex as I remember it being. Uh, I don't know if it was just this batch or what, but it just didn't have any uniqueness that I look for in a beer. I mean, but it doesn't need to. Like I said earlier, it's a, it's a it's a it's a main mainstream main brand image beer, so it doesn't really need to be that good. So <laughs> nice, <laughs> good job, Kevin. Uh, triple digits. Triple digits. <laughs> ah! Oh, damn it. Anyway. Right. <laughs> um, okay. uh, 
Uh, Grant, give me your thoughts on the inversion IPA. What did you think uh, out, of, out of five pints? I think I'm a sucker for Deschutes. Um, I might give them too much credit, but I love – they might be my overall favorite brewery. Um, I really enjoy this beer. It was, it's been one of my favorite IPAs for a while, like three or four years now. Um, I'd probably give it a 4.25. Okay. I like it a lot. I'm not ashamed about it. Peter? Um, I always give inversion a hard time. Uh, I I don't really I don't really go for it in the beer cooler, but uh, I'll say after today a four I think is fair. I, I think it's a good beer and it has a good. I mean, we just I mean Grant blew our minds with the inversion thing, so I think it's kind of still pulling some pulling some uh, surprises out of its hat and makes it a little exciting to drink it every now and then. All right, Nick. Um, this is actually the first time I've had uh, inversion. What? Yeah. Surprise. Someone with a thousand uh, props. I thought, you know, they would have had it before. <laughs> props are free. I don't know. I just haven't drank a lot of things. Uh, but I'll give it a four. Four? That's pretty good. Wow. Yeah. That's your it's an Oregon. Yeah, I like and Nick, you know it's brewed in Oregon, right? Yeah, not know. not in California. All right. <laughs> I was born in Oregon. I thought you were born in the Midwest. Really? I thought you were born in a tank top. <laughs> no, I was born. <laughs> your your uh, twiddle Twitter your Twitter handle says twiddle. Oh, Oregon Oregon born. Oregon born, Midwest raised. Okay, I misread it. My bad. Reddit? Oh, I love Reddit. <laughs> I'm on there all the time. I don't comment. Hey, I'll, give it, yes, I'll give it a four. Uh, it's pretty good. Good. Um, okay, Nick, I, do you I, realize Evan? four is like an 80%? Like, it's more than pretty good. Hey, let him give him a four. That's that's good from Nick. You know. All right. Um, I, I actually went with a 3.75. Um, Kevin. Yeah, I, I'm bringing you guys down on this one. I I thought it lacked aroma. I think um, it was really good to drink. Uh, I missed the little malt character and the taste, but I missed the hop character and the aroma. So the inversion makes sense, but it left me wanting more. I wanted more of a blend between the two rather than a segregated bunch. You are a that's pro, fair. You are pro non segregated. That is true. I am. I am. <laughs> Wait, non segregated. That's a good thing. Okay, it's, yeah. it's a downfall of mine. <laughs> no, no, Kevin, it is not a downfall. <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing. That is a, good, a thing. good thing. <laughs> Don't edit that either. <laughs> like I know you already are going to. So. Just lost 15 viewers. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> um, nice way here without penalty. Blanking all right. Uh, thank you to our, our all of our lovely viewers for watching this. Uh, please reach out to us on Twitter, Instagram, um, or our Gmail account. That's underscore Buds and Suds. Our Gmail is Buds and Suds 2016 at gmail.com. Uh, please let us know what you loved, what you did not like so much. Uh, and thanks for watching us. Anything else, guys? Ask us questions and subscribe to our channel down here. Make sure to subscribe. So, or up here. Ass, <laughs> a hair Anything arm? else, guys? Cheers. Chin chin. Cheers. Chin chin. chin, chin. <laughs>